Hello. You okay? Okay. It's uh, just waiting for people to join for me to chat away. Lydia, Kai, local, mean, web. Very cool. Okay. Wow. 13 people. Hey, me. Hi, everybody. Um, my name's Andy, um, and I work on the graphic design program at Hugh Baird University Centre. I work with uh, a couple of staff. Um, I work with Adam and Shirley, Alex. And um, what we do is we've, we run the graphic design department. We've been doing it for many years now. So, um, like the Queen, uh, I'm well scripted on the uh, Queen's speech. I have a few notes for me to uh, work from, so you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. Um, so, firstly, what I wanted to do is talk about the course, okay, and what it's about. Uh, many years ago, UCLan, up in Preston, came to us and said, can you um, write us a course in graphic design? Okay, we eventually did, uh, called it Graphic Arts because what we did, we talked to a lot of people out there in the industry uh, about what it was that they were missing when they went to university on their design courses. What is it, if you could go back in the past, what would you change? And effectively, that's what we wrote. So our course um, looks at lots of uh, multidisciplinary, multifaceted areas of design that we can uh, jump into. So we wrote the course around graphic design, photography, um, artistic skill base, creative thinking, and ultimately to be a team player also. Okay, so what that means is we're not like a photography course. Okay, don't get me wrong, we're not a photography course. What it is is if you're a graphic designer and you make a product. Okay, so if you make, uh, yeah, I'll okay, get this. So if I get this gin label, okay, and you've done this project. Well, you need to photograph that, okay, to put on social media, web-based medium, anything you want to get out there. And that's what we do. So we do a lot of kind of product um, photography, effectively is what it's called. Right now I'm using ring lights uh, to shine light on my chops and so forth. Okay, so what do we do? Okay, I'm going to talk about a few little things um, about the, the course. So... Level four, okay, so it's a two-year course for the foundation uh, degree in graphic design. If you enjoy it and we like you and you achieve, you can then go on further and do the top-up year, which is the extra one year. Um, if you decide to fly the nest and go out there and be a designer, you can and you will have your cap and gown, your big ceremony and all the rest of it. But if you want to, you can stay for the three years, okay? On the level four, okay, um, we work with a series of engaging uh, practical projects, looking at research method methodologies um, and explore communication through traditional digital medium, as well as uh, traditional and, uh, sorry, traditional and digital mediums. Um, we try and develop your design aesthetic, try and understand what design is, how something looks, you know, the best possible way of making something look pretty awesome. Um, typography, we look through illustration as well to try and get you to develop your artistic skills in your sketchbooks, your scamping, as they call it also. And we also try and um, teach you the basics of Adobe, the Adobe Creative Suite, okay? It's the, it's the backbone of um, most, of, to be fair, all design in some capacity, um, you've got the Adobe Creative Cloud right now, so Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign are the main three. Um, again, we spoke about photography, so we teach the basic elements of photography to try and capture whatever you produce in its best possible light. Uh, 3D, skill base, and advertising. So we, we look at the foundation of what graphic design is. Okay, If anybody's got any questions, at this point, please 
pop it up if you want. Uh, I'm just looking down. Okay, there's quite a few people there. Pretty cool. Okay. So, you finished your first year and you're thinking, fab, that was all right. I enjoyed that. During this lockdown moment, uh, we've not been in work. We've been uh, exploring uh, remote learning, which has been quite difficult, but interesting. Uh, learning curve. <clears throat> so, um, you move on to level five. What is level five? It's the second year of any program, okay? And I've made some notes here. It's about realising the relationship between um, your own work and the marketplace. Where do you sit? What did you learn in the first year that you enjoyed? And where do you see yourself in the future? So level four is about the foundation. Level five is taking that foundation and then moving forward and actually then developing it. So you'll start to explore what it is you want to do. So you might want to go into advertising uh, aspects. 3D model making in respects to kind of like um, package design, graphic design, editorial, magazine, illustration to some extent, okay? Um, and we try and prepare the students for their chosen field. A lot of independent study as well. And it is on the second year that you get the opportunity to write your own projects as well. What is it you're interested in? How are you going to do it? And what are you going to write? Okay, and that's what we do. Um... Highlight options uh, available with the, within the broader design field effectively is what it's about. Okay. Um, another thing we do, which I've not gone into just yet, is the trips. It's down to the students. If you want to go on a trip, it's down to the numbers. Okay. If you've got a course of say twelve students um, and two want to go on a trip uh, abroad, we try and get the rest of the group to muster up and uh, get out there. Historically, we've gone to Amsterdam a couple of times, Berlin, uh, London, Paris. Um, we we do these trips and we go to the design studios when we go to these places. So uh, memorable ones would be um, going to London for a few days and we went to the Ted Baker um, HQ okay, to see what the graphic design department and the photography department do. That was quite a lot of fun. Williams, Murray and Ham, they were awesome. And also Grey of London, Grey of London. Uh, you know the adverts when you see them on TV. Um, and it was really interesting to go into that studio or that building and then talk to the, the creatives involved. Absolutely fascinating. Uh, Berlin, we went to Berlin. And you'll see photos on our Instagram. So H-B-U-C-G-A, okay? So it's Hubert University Centre Graphic Arts. That's our hashtag. Uh, you'll see some of our work. You'll also see some previous students, um, sorry, previous students, alumni, or alumni, we started to put them up, okay, what they're doing now, how they're working, etc. Uh, you'll see them stories, and also, like I say, some really cool pictures of previous trips, okay. Mm. There's a few names I recognise. Hi hey guys, you okay? So, you've, um, you're only your, your second year, and it's at this stage that you'll do some competition briefs, okay, competition brief. So, uh, we have, uh, like I say, three teachers on the the course, and each teacher has a specialism. Okay, so mine is kind of uh, web based. I'm I'm big on social media and understanding PDP, which is a personal development plan, business, etc. Because I've got a couple of businesses also um, outside of Hubert. Uh, one of them is called the Jones Boys. Uh, some of you probably have some of the artwork. To be fair, in your house, we sell in. Uh, dozens of shops around the northwest and the country uh, worldwide, well, countrywide anyway. Um, and then we've got Adam and we've got Shirley. So with their expertise, we do competition briefs as well. And the competition briefs might be Penguin Awards. Okay, so Penguin Books. You get the opportunity to design a Penguin Book. That's always a, a firm favourite of mine. We also look at doing the D&AD, the dreaded D&AD &D projects, the one that the students get a little bit upset about. Um, blue marlin, penguin, uh, as I said, roses, uh, Y, uh, C, N, also, and star pack. These are all competitions that are online. Um, you can check them out uh, while you're on the lockdown, I guess. Um, so, you finished your second year. Okay, you've enjoyed your time. Hopefully, you've been away, been on trips, 
you've been to a couple of design studios and you're thinking, I'm going to stay and I'm going to do third year. So, great. You'll have uh, an induction interview because it's a bigger deal, okay? It is um, the top-up year, the final part of a degree course. And you've got to really think, am I suitable for it? So we end up interviewing you and then you join the course, you, the whole course. Uh, because we are a top-up course, we also allow students with HNDs or f with foundation degrees from other institutions to come in on that. And in the past few years, we've had several members, uh, sorry, several students join us on that journey. Uh, we've got Ruth at the moment and Megan, who are on our third year, really outstanding students with a really good background. And we give you the opportunity to explore your design futures, okay? Your own personal interests. What is it interests you about design? Okay, what makes you, you know, what floats your boat? And you then pursue that avenue. So you start to write up your own um, brief, okay, for what we call the honours brief. It's actually called the uh, the final project. And the honours brief is whatever you want to do. You come to us with a, a design proposal and we help you write that proposal to meet the needs of a uh, degree student, okay? So good, so far, yeah, okay. Um, again, there'll be opportunity in the third year to do some competition briefs and a set project, okay? The set project is something that we set using what we call um, the undead, the undead briefs. This was uh, something that Adam thought of uh, when we first started. These are the projects that are given to us by uh, graphic design firms, uh, advertising agencies, and we these are previous live projects that they've worked on and we give them to the students to see how they can do and how they can fare with it, okay? It's always been good fun to be fair. Um, the good thing about it is that the students from the first year, the, the foundation, the second year, thinking about independence and about what they're interested, by third year, they, they've got a really good knowledge about what they want to do and they jump at this, they write their own project, their own timetable, they know when it's going to finish and it's great, you know, the third years are in uh, two days a week, um, but we do encourage them to come in any part of the week. Uh, the studios are always kind of an open studio policy. The The good thing about what we do, when we started the course, because of my own background as a graphic designer working in design studios, I wanted the studio to be a space where they were, well, it's a family, okay? Who's around the tea, is it? who's going to get the toast, etc. And it, it, that's what we try and nurture. And in recent, recent years, it really has worked. Uh, memorably, um, I've got students in my mind now, Alex, um, Alex and Alex. Uh, you've got, um, my God, Beth and Jen and Alex. Again, another Alex. Uh, Adam. These are all the people who kind of gelled and worked together. Um, and Jay and Speakman. You know, it's fantastic. When I think about it, you know, uh, the memories of the studio banter. And that's what we try and foster in, in our in our family, I suppose, the graphic arts family. It is about family. It's about working together. And historically, when we've got guest speakers in, into um, the graphic design department, there have been people we've worked with, myself, Adam or Shirley. Okay, so these are our friends and people we've come across. So we've always used uh, Smiling Wolf, who we were based in Liverpool. Recently we went to see Uniform uh, on Bold Street in Liverpool. They were fantastic. Again, when we've been to London, we've gone to studios there. And also in Amsterdam, uh, a couple of the students made arrangements to go and see some studios there on one previous uh, visit. Um, it's about kind of um, nurturing that, that, well, that relationship with your friends. Because... In years to come, you might be dropping in on them to get them to help you with a project. Uh, one such chap is a guy called Glenn, who I was at, I was at college with um, back in 94. And he works in Liverpool. He's got an amazing design studio. And he's come in to Hugh Baird, to our department, and he's given talks on occasion. Um, we just use the strengths around us. 
Okay. Has anybody got any questions? Okay. I have got some questions here um, that somebody sent me today. Because although we are on lockdown, we are actually still working. And I'm answering emails and trying to do feedback left, right, and centre. Okay. Yeah, someone asked, do I have the opportunity to... Hello, hello. Give me one second, because that's the door. That's just rang, and I think it's the postman. Give me a sec. Da -da -da. That's highly unorthodox, isn't it? You're buying stock all the time for your business and it comes at the most unlikeliest moments. How about that, eh? So, oh, my big cushion's falling down. Ugh. Trying to get high up on the chair so I can see the comments and so forth. That was a lot of fun. Okay, doesn't happen in the movies. It didn't happen with the Queen when she did the speech this year. So, X Home. I recognise that name. So anyway, uh, where were we? Um, I have no idea now. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's think. Oh yeah, questions. Um, do I have the opportunity... That's right. Someone asked me this week on an email. Do I have the opportunity to graduate at the end of second year? Yes, you do. We've already mentioned that. Um, some people don't understand what a foundation degree is. And a BA honours. Okay. The difference. Um, some bright spark many years ago realised that students who are on a three-year degree course, okay, BA honours, some of them drop out on the first year or the second year, just not interested or they're just not feeling the vibe. That's a waste of money. So some bright spark said, I know, let's develop something called a foundation degree. So the students do two years, level four, level five, and then have the opportunity to graduate. Cap, gown, whole shebang. Okay, that is what a foundation degree is. And if you want to pursue the BA honours, okay, to have that, that title at the end of your name, you then go on and do BA honours, okay, for one year. Does that make sense? Okay. Fabulous. Hmm. There's loads of people. All little ticks and hearts and everything, and I'm going to wave to you, 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 and you. Okay, what's this? Okay. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, guys. Ha! There you go. It turned around. So, has anyone got anything? No? Hey, Ray. Interested in graphic designs, Ray? It's a good course. So, um, yeah, we're, like I say, we're a three year course with the option of just doing the two years foundation degree, graphic design. What can you do with graphic design? Well, you can go into it. It's, the graphic design is everywhere, okay? It's all around us. Every time you open up a magazine or a book, it's being produced or created by a graphic designer, okay? The clothes that you are wearing, the design on that is being created by a graphic designer, okay? One of the stories on our Instagram account, if you go to HBUCGA, you will see that one of our previous students, Daz, has started a design firm. He graduated, oh God, was it last year? He designs um, apparel now, and I'll um, make sure the story's up there, uh, making sure it's live. But check him out, okay? Um, you'll see him. It's, it's all around us. It's the advertising on a billboard, okay? It's typography. It's sign writing on Windows. It's graphic design, graphic design. Graphic design is everywhere. It's He can't open up a web page without it being created by a graphic design. So there's lots of different avenues. What do you reckon, Purple Parrot? I think so as well. Okay. Well, I've been talking for 19 minutes. I think that's about it, really. Although there's four of you still hanging about. Must be interesting. Okay. Um, okay, so what will just mention before I go, green hearts, how do you make a green hearts? What I'll mention before I go, 
um, is the uh, admissions onto the graphic design course. Okay, so if you're interested, go to Hugh Baird, okay, and fill in an application for graphic design, foundation degree graphic design. If you have a um, foundation degree already, or a HND, okay, or experience within design for many years, you have the opportunity to go on to the final year top up. Okay. Oh, we are. We've got a question. Nicola. Will I be okay doing level four and five without doing my level three? I do have experience, but it is self taught. Yes, you do. And you can. Depend on your age and your experience. Yes, you can. The foundation degree does open up that avenue. Also, if you've got a portfolio, what you've got to remember is this. If you're, say, in your late 20s, okay, for instance, there's no point you going on to a level 3 course with, say, for instance, uh, a lot of students who have just left school. It just really wouldn't be fair for you. So there are two avenues to go down. You can go on to the year zero, which is a one-year course, okay? And that is generally for people who've, who are of a, an older nature, my age maybe, and we've got a bit of artistic um, portfolio going on, but we've got no qualifications maybe, formal qualifications. You can then go on to the year zero, okay? Be integrated for one year. Failing that, um, if you have got a portfolio, yes, you can go on to the first year of a foundation degree at Hubert certainly the graphic arts or any of the other courses. Hi, what are the new generation artificial intelligence artists are willing to do in the graphic design industry? Are the new world going to produce graphic design? Well, you know what? Oops, sorry, Ray. Why it's moving up and down. Okay, hi, what are the new, what are this new generation artificial intelligence artists? Do you know what? Um, the artificial intelligence, it's, the design world is moving ever so quick, okay, it's ridiculously fast and some suggest even if you're out of the business for like more than say two or three years, you're actually out of the loop and you've got to get back into it in some way. The graphic design industry, it is moving, okay, and for instance, I went to a talk in dun, 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 Dublin a couple of years back. And the guy was talking about graphic design and artificial intelligence, and in particular, uh, the headsets VR, uh, virtual reality headsets. And he said, the biggest challenge for a lot of people is, is the typography that comes up in front of you. You can't just put up like Helvetica, okay, Garmand or Arial. You've got to think about what typeface can I use? That's a graphic designer's um, job. We did have a student a few years back called Dan. Now, Dan was an amazing typographer. That's what he does now. He's a sign writer working in Liverpool. And Dan would sit for hours on end talking about typography and explaining about this typeface works because you can see at this distance, etc. So there is opportunity uh, with graphic design and new age. We've just been joined by one of our uh, colleagues. Hi, Shirley. Um, Shirley specialises within digital medium. Um, and she's good at what she does. She's amazing at what she does. And if you do join the graphic design team, family, come September, you will be taught by Shirley. Okay? Okay. Ray, was that okay? It's um, artificial intelligence. It's, it's moving so fast. Um, we do have, in our departments, a lot of uh, technology the Apple Macs, for instance. We've got the printers, the vinyl cutters and things. Um, I wouldn't mind getting into a bit of that, um, artificial intelligence. Um, a friend of mine, as I mentioned before, Glenn, uh, works Sparkle Media FX in Liverpool. He um, does really well with that. Check him out, see what he's about. Okay, the loads. Hi, Jones. Hi, how are we doing? Hey, Got some people joining us. Uh, well, apparently, what we're going to do while we're here is we're going to get 
the split screen and get somebody up, but they're not online yet, or not online. I think they've bottled it. Okay. Hi, Shales. You okay? Okay. Um, bingo for 25 minutes, and that's amazing because I only wanted to do 10 minutes. Um, just wondering what else we can talk about while we're here. Um, I'm, I've got my little script, Shirley, as you can see. And I've covered, to be fair, all of it. Um, foundation degree, each um, year group does four modules. And the modules are delivered by um, three members of staff. Okay. Is that okay? Cool. Oh, somebody pressed something. <laughs> Slander Roberts. Show info. Info. Show the information. Um, Alfred SB. Show info. Question mark. When will it be available for people to see? Um, show info. You know about the artwork. We've got a Behance um, that we need to um, put more content on. Uh, the degree show. That's right. We've got a degree show at the end of the month. The website will be going live. Um, you will be hearing about it on our uh, website which is um, the HBUCGA um, Instagram account, and also on this site. It'll be the end of year degree show. Again, it's all going to be virtual. Um, we're not going to be having the physical one, which is crazy when I think about it. Um, and we're going to start to put up students' artwork as well, um, and links to their websites. Okay? Is that all right? Okay. I think we're done. Um, it's 27 minutes and I think I'm done. I'm now going to go away and have a cup of tea and a blue ribbon. What thing is that? Ah, okay. Nicola. What would exams and assignments consist of? In the first year, you will be given four modules. Okay. One of the modules is called Introduction into Graphic Communication. And during that module, because it is a 40 credit, which means it's quite a hefty one, it runs from September to roughly around March, you will be given uh, roughly six projects. Each project will look at um, the foundations of art and design, graphic design. Um, you will be looking at uh, typography, advertising. Uh, through the advertising, you will do some product photography, as I've explained. You'll do a project and then photograph it for advertising purposes and social media. You'll have some illustration as well because illustration and drawing is really quite important. I haven't got any sketchbooks with me now because they're all upstairs in the office. Um, but sketching your ideas out is really important. Okay, And it's at this stage that students tend to develop a love for mark making and it's something that they might take on board in the future. Okay. Um, in second year, it's um, set projects uh, that we give you and also um, some live briefs and competition projects, um, of which there are online. Also, <laughs> A. Jones has his own business, so offers advice and guidance through module. On how yes, I do. Yes. Um, there's something called PDP, which we teach second years. It's called uh, professional development planning, okay? It's really quite important. What you need to do is understand how the business works. I've run a successful business since 2015 called The Jones Boys. Um, they are online, or I am online. And we, uh, through that, I come into Hubert and I'll talk about the projects, or the, the, the project, how much things cost, how much a startup uh, business start, you know, how much it costs, what's the day-to-day -day runnings, how much do I need to be paying up for a website, do I need a website, these are the questions you need to ask, where do I get my materials, so um, I'm quite transparent to be fair and I tell the students a lot of things that I know my contemporaries and peers out there in the design world would never talk about, uh, because people spend months, years um, spending 
vast amount of cash trying to develop their business. So why should they give their information for free? Um, but I'm in the education game, so it's free. And I give it all for free. All of it. Is that okay, Alfred SB? Yeah? I think so. Okay. Um, there isn't, uh, by the way, there isn't an end of year exam. Um, not like in school. It's module based. Okay, so you'll do a project and then you'll get some feedback on the project and we will feed forward information and then what happens is uh, there'll be a time when our partner university, UCLan, send us the, um, the grading criteria sheet we fill that in with the students' grades goes back up to UCLan and then they calculate it all and they come out with the grade after the second year uh, for the foundation degree um, and then third year as a um, a first, a second, a two, one, third, etc, etc. Okay, 30 minutes. I'm sure my co uh, colleagues over at Hubert are thinking, wow, he does an half talk. And those who know me, yes, I will. And I will sit here talking for hours. So I better boogie. I'm going to go. Okay. It's nice uh, talking with you. And thank you for the questions. Um, Nicola, Alfred, and the other chap who was Ray. Thank you. Yeah. Nicola, you're right. You can go on to the foundation degree if you are self taught and you are of a certain age. Thank you very much and uh, I bid you farewell. Check out our Instagram account, okay? No one gone? Oh. Ah! Ray is asking, is artificial intelligence, uh, intelligence, design, computers, our kinds of ones to traditional craft? Um, no, I wouldn't say so. Um, it's like many things in life. Um, you can't beat real people because it's what's here, okay? Emotion, your heart, okay? There was a statement made by a famous designer many years ago who said design is all about head, hand and heart. And it's true, you know. Your mind develops the idea, your hand is the technical belief of what you do, and your heart is where it all is, okay? So, uh, art artificial intelligence uh, ones to graphic designers, no. We'll always be around, Ray. Um, we'll always be around, but thank you for your questions. You're crazy on this uh, artificial intelligence thing, aren't you? I want to find out who you are, Ray. See if you're a designer. Could be a plant. Okay. Hi, David. I know that name. Okay. Got five viewers all watching. Okay. I think that's it. Okay, guys. Look, thank you for sitting around and listening to me talk for 33 minutes and 26 seconds. You too, Ray. Have yourself a nice day. See you later. See you all. Bye-bye.